So I've been busy, busy, busy uh, doing things around the shop. Um, let me know what you think. I put, oops, let me pull you out here. I put these shelves in here because I had some extra mugs. And I moved this all around so it's like a little more together. It was a little spread apart. And then I, I put all of the decals. Um, these are Island Life decals um, that we have. And these are passport covers. There's just plain ones. And then these are the ones that I just finished doing yesterday. Um, I did owls and crows and stuff like that. Oops. Uh, but I just finished, I'll turn you over. I just finished redoing my window. <coughs> So, let me show you, see what you guys think. Oh, I need some fresh air anyway. Oop. Here we go. See, I hate the fact that my window is so dark. There's no lighting or anything, so you can't really, I mean, in the video you can't really see too much. But anyways, I put some, some bags that I made up there. Put some of the passport covers there, some yarn, and then over here I've got the sweater that I made. God, I wish you guys could see that. And then I put some of the mugs and stuff that I've got here. So when you're walking past, if you, as long as you don't see the glare, you know you can see things that kind of pop out at you so yeah so anyways I'm trying guys <laughs> uh, open my door I still haven't got my door fixed yet oh. um, but yeah so anyway um, yeah I've never really I, I check you guys through the shop I'll pull you back a little bit I took you guys through the shop once before, so I don't think there's really anything new um, to show you. So, uh, <clears throat> yeah. Sorry, guys. <laughs> Just so you know, um, if there's anything that you guys want to buy, we can work that out. Um, I'm not sure how much the mugs and tumblers are going to cost to ship, but I have little things. I've got my tea towels. These are the pot holders on the top, and I've got a button there. Um, I have I have these. These have these all have different sayings on them. Um, There's one here that everybody just loves. Where is it? I'm getting older. I just can't remember stuff because my brain is full. But there's another one here. Oh, there it is. Everybody loves this one. <laughs> so, yeah, there's, um, there's lots of different ones. I have another bowl. I've um, got a pin. Uh, I have little bags, shopping bags. Oh, I didn't show you my I, the new bags that I just made last night. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> These are canvas bags. Um, and that's the raven. And oh, owl. Look at that owl. I know Jeanette, Miss Hootie Hootie, Hoot, Hootie Hootie, <laughs> Hootie Hootenens is going to see that and she's going to be like, I want it. <laughs> so I just did those last night. 
I just did a whole bunch of stuff for Angela at Crazy Crazy Critter Cookies. That is one of the girls that moved in here. Um, and I'm gonna sit down. Oh. Um, she's one of the girls that moved in here uh, when we did like one of the three shops that. Hang on, I'm trying to find something that I can put you down on. Is that gonna work? Yes, no, maybe. All right, good enough. Um, yeah, she moved into one of the shops around the corner. And so I made her a bunch of stuff for her, um, her dog food cat pet store. <laughs> I guess it's a pet store. <laughs> um, so I made her some cat tumblers with funny sayings. And I made some, um, ankle socks that have like the heartbeat and then a paw, a paw print. Um, and then some socks with uh, paw prints on them and hearts. So, you know, stuff like that. I made her a few mugs. But, yeah. So I was busy yesterday. And boy, is my back ever screaming at me. God, I look all red and flushed. Um, yeah, so I was doing that. I'm going to have to order some more bags, I think. I was talking to Kath. Um, from the British store, which is a block down now. And she was saying that the, one of the, or a couple of the shop owners in this area were telling her, prepare yourself because when the tourists come, they're going to wipe you out of everything. They're going to shop until they drop. And I was like, uh oh, um, <laughs> so I, uh, oh, not, um, yeah, so I thought, well, I told George, I says, I don't know what we're going to do. Uh, so it's going to be interesting to see if that's the way it's going to be. If you know, But yeah, I'm going to have to make some more stuff. So anyway, oh, excuse me. I think I need a coffee. <laughs> I think I'm going to have to go get a coffee because, uh, yeah. Anyway, okay guys, I'll talk to you later. Bye. Hi Yarnabees. How are you today? I am so excited. I am so excited. I, I'm at the shop, obviously. And who should walk through the door but a Yarnabee on the island? Um, I was in shock. Uh, she, her name is Louise. And hi, Louise. <laughs> um, she was wearing the most gorgeous sweater, OMG. Uh, and she brought in some of her works. This woman has so much talent. It's unbelievable. She crochets, she knits, she sews. Um, so I told her, like, she says, what? Well, uh, can I show you some of my stuff? I'm like, absolutely. So she brought some of her stuff in and I said, I have to have this in my shop. So she left some stuff with me. Um, she has a whole bunch more stuff that she's going, going to probably bring in, but oh, you know, as you guys know, well, all of my, um, my OGs on my channel, my niece used to work with Hobie yarn. I would buy the Hobie yarn and she would make stuff for me for the shop and now that she's going to be that she's in school she's going to be getting a job and she's got the baby um well I guess he's not really baby much anymore is he <laughs> um she doesn't have time to do that kind of stuff so um Louise couldn't have had a better <laughs> a better timing right uh because spring is starting to come around I hope and she has some cotton stuff that she does. She has some acrylic stuff. And I think that her stuff is going to fit in here right beautifully. Let me show you some of this stuff. Okay. Let me just see if I can. Hang on. Hang on. Let's see if I can do this with not without knocking you guys down. I've got a table in my way here. <clears throat> I'm just a ragamuffin today. <laughs> okay. 
Look at this. Isn't this beautiful? Oh, the colors. And this is Hobie yarn. Um, but it's just, oh, it's so pretty. Look at this. Oops. Hopefully I didn't show off her, her um, info there. Isn't that gorgeous? And there's a pineapple stitch. Oh, so pretty. So pretty. So that's one. Um, this is beautiful. Look at this. Oh, so beautiful. Isn't that gorgeous? And all of this stuff that she makes is out of her head. There's no pattern. Like, I'm just, I'm just oh, in awe. In awe. Oh, it's so pretty. If it was bigger, I'd wear it. <laughs> um, yeah, like I just, she was showing me some of the stuff that she makes, and I was just going, wow. That's all I could say is wow, wow. Wow. Um, this is really cool. This is, oops, it's like a little poncho-y kind of thing, like a small poncho. Um, but the way she did her pockets, look at this. I don't know if you can see this. Look at this. This is, or not the pockets, the armholes. This is the armhole right here. Isn't that neat? And then she just carried this all the way down. But yeah, and it's got a hood. And it's so, so soft. Like, oh, it's so soft. She said it was anti-pilling acrylic. But yeah, so when you're when you have it on, you poke your hands right through here. Isn't that neat? Oh, so pretty. But it's like the back is um, shorter than the front. I thought that was so unique. And then, oh, hang on. This is going on my mannequin like now. Isn't this gorgeous? Oh, so pretty. Oh, so pretty. And it, it has a hat to match. This almost looks like, no, it's not a divine hat. But yeah, like this just comes like out of her mind, right? Like, so pretty. Oh, but this is, this is going to look amazing on crochet C. <laughs> I think that's what we're calling our crochet C. <laughs> so, but yeah, oh, and it's just amazingly soft. So, yeah, so there's that. And then she makes mosaic bags. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? And she lines it. She's got, it's lined. It's got a pocket inside. I just, oh, so pretty. Like, oh my goodness, it's got a zipper too. She's got a zipper pocket inside too. What? Holy cow. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. So nice. So I've got that one. And then she's got a little dress that we're gonna say is for, you know, six and over. <laughs> and then this, isn't this beautiful? And it comes with a hat as well. Oh, it's so pretty. So, yeah. So, oops, I think I might have a customer, hold on. Hi, okay, so. Um, yeah, I had a fantastic visit with Louise. I was so impressed with 
what she does, right? Like she is f far surpassed my, me and what I do. Um, I, I felt a little inept. <laughs> um, so yeah, I mean, it, she's been knitting and crocheting for most of her life. Oops, I think I have another customer. Hold on. I tell you. <laughs> she's looking at all of these down here. They're all Zodiac sign mugs or uh, tumblers. And of course, the one I don't have was cancer and I thought I had them all. I guess I printed it, forgot to put it on a tumbler. Uh, anyway, <laughs> so yeah, so I had a great visit and um, I'm so excited to get more of her stuff in the shop. So it takes some of the pressure off of me. Um, but I mean, the stuff that she does is really intricate uh, and um, finer yarns and it's the stuff I don't work with. So this is perfect. Um, so I'm pretty excited about that. Whoops, pretty excited about that. Uh, she was, I was also trying to, <laughs> trying to say, hey, um, I need a knitting teacher. <laughs> uh, so, you know, we're, we're going to talk about maybe doing, um, what's it called? Uh, Zoom classes for the people that live here uh, or something to that effect. Um, and that maybe she could come in once a month or something to to help get people started. So, but that's something that we'll talk about a little bit later. Because I'm, I'm actually planning on, I'm starting to sweat. I'm planning on um, putting a table in here again. Now that I got rid of my other table and chairs. It, that would have been too big for this place though. Oh. Um, so... Oh, so yeah, uh, once I get that figured out, then we can talk more about it. But yeah, so uh, put this on my chair, and there. um, what else? Oh, I put I put her her outfit on my mannequin. Doesn't it look pretty? Oh, it looks so good. That's going to get a lot of attention. <laughs> um, it was sunny out and now it's raining again. Ugh. Oh, well. Um, yeah, so anyway. Uh, what else? Um, oh, remember I told you guys that the one day that I didn't put makeup on or anything and the newspaper came in? Well, as I was talking to Louise, uh, the editor, reporter, whatever, came in and brought me a paper. Actually, brought me three. And on the second page, here I am. Look at that. <laughs> And the funny thing is, on the page after me, this is the market. This was the 50s saw cock that they did um, the other day, last week. So I thought it was kind of ironic how my picture's on this page and the market's on this page. <laughs> yeah. Oops. <laughs> But, um, yeah, so I, I was really happy with that. Hopefully that can draw some people in. Uh, it's been slow for the last few days. I think it's the weather. It is what it is. Uh, okay, health issues. My ears are still bugging me. Um, my doctor is retiring in April, and he's on vacation right now. You couldn't wait till you were retired? Like, oh, I'm so mad. But, um, yeah, I, I got to get my ears checked. I'm thinking, I don't think it's my medication. <clears throat> I think 
it could be diabetic auto neuropathy I think it's called uh, so I am going to have to go to the hospital to emergency and get them to check me out or get them in, to get me in touch with somebody because my doctor's useless. Um, but yeah, I'm thinking that when my A1C went up to eight, <laughs> I think it just threw my body so out of whack because I was like in so much pain. You remember I was in like full body blown and I'm thinking I've got fibromyalgia well my ears started going really wacky um and so it now if I go near the fridge or something it's so loud it's like it just feels like I've got a turbine in my ear just and it's like I'm just it's driving me crazy absolutely driving me crazy but yet it feels like I kind of got cotton in my ears right so but it's just this and I'm just going ah, like oh it's driving me nuts but if I go near the fridge or the um, dishwasher when it's running or anything like that the sound is just unreal I got up at like three o'clock in the morning to go to the bathroom and I could hear this just boom, 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 boom. and I was going what is that and I I thought did George leave something on downstairs did it like is that outside like it just it, the sound was un, unreal and I can hear it right now but um I couldn't figure out what it was and then I went over to the fridge and I it got louder and I thought I'm starting to hear things that other people can't hear or that isn't as loud. You know, and I think with diabetic autoneuropathy, you lose your hearing. Mine's the opposite. Like, it's a muffled, but it's, I can't even explain it, you guys. It's just awful. Oh, excuse me. <sighs> I'm constantly yawning. I'm constantly, you know, doing that trying to unplug my ears um yeah I don't know but I got to get it checked because it's driving me nuts <clears throat> um yeah because so I went off the Jardians for a couple of days thinking that maybe that it was from that it wasn't so I went back on the Jardians last night um my dog is snoring <laughs> um so yeah so I'm gonna I went back on Jardians and I'm hoping it's gonna bring my A1C down and that this is gonna clear up but I'm really worried that if I don't get this checked out that it could have permanent damage um yeah that worries me I have more sympathy, empathy for my sister now because my sister's hearing with uh, the Wegners, the first thing that went was her hearing. Oh, excuse me. So she's been wearing hearing aids and it, her hearing's getting worse and worse. Um, her hearing aids just aren't working anymore. So I told my doctor that my sister has Wagner's and <clears throat> um, if originally I wanted to get my here my um, what's it called um, inflammation markers checked but then I started reading up on the diabetes thing and um, diabetes can affect a lot more than just your blood stuff it's you know, your sugar levels it can it can give you neuropathy throughout your body and it can give you um, audio neuropathy and take your hearing away <clears throat> so I'm not sure what's happening but yeah so I'm concerned about that so we'll see uh, we'll see what happens if I can get somebody to actually take a look at me that would be wonderful uh, what else 
don't know what else. Can't think of anything. Um, oh, I watched Billy Crafty Floridian's video. And Nancy, she's got yarn too. And um, uh, Lin um, Lynette from Charm Grammy <clears throat> watching the Boggy Creek blanket. Uh, they went and went to Boggy Creek and they gave the blankets to, I can't believe they have over a thousand blankets. That was crazy. Um, and I, I feel bad that I wasn't able to partic participate in that, but it just costs way too much to send blankets. So yeah, that sucks. But, um, and it was Miss Billy's birthday. So I, I, I sent her a message and sang happy birthday to her so yeah <laughs> um but anyways okay i think that's about it i'm oh i'm working on this the waffle stitch um it's obviously gonna be sweater <laughs> i'm working on two waffle stitch sweaters i don't know how that happened but uh <clears throat> one's like orange and yellow and all, all the colors I don't normally work with. And then this one, this one's done with uh, Colorama Halo. So, yeah. I don't know what happened. I guess I'm in a waffle stitch mood. <laughs> Anyways, guys. Okay, I'm going to talk to you later. I love you all. Okay. Bye. <laughs>